All right. Part two of my day. Still got the headache, migraine. Well, it's went from a migraine to a pressure headache. But it's been three days since I've been able to do my Google glob that Vale Thompson and Jen does. And I got to be careful as so I don't get excited because every time I do, oh, I feel the headache intensify to an all over pain. Yay! After three days of not being able to drink this, I so need my vitamins, my minerals, my supplements, every vegetable. How did I put it, Bill? I gotta remember how I messaged, how I said it to you, and it's funny, guys, how I said it to him, cause he laughed. And um, I'm gonna pull it up right now. Bill Thompson, are there? <sighs> more greens in the go in. I have more. Little teas for us. Super green powder. Ah, oh, no. It okay. I have more greens in this drink than I do in any garden. That's how I put it. And he got a laugh out of that. Because if you do the super green powders and then you do the, um, it's called um, supplement mix, super supplement mix. Comes in little pouches and all your greens and all that and vitamin C's. And I so miss it. And oh my God, that sun's so right up in my eyeballs. As you can Come here, pillow. I brought out my rocking chair. Because I got tired of sitting in daddy's <laughs> beat up chair. But I, I came back on because going to make some of you jealous. Especially you winter people. I mean, yeah, we're still in winter, but God, my eyes look puffy as ever. All the way down there. Buttercups, 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 buttercups. Everywhere buttercups. My rose bush is starting to have little greenery. My, all, all my plants are starting to sprout out of the ground, which tickles me pink. So, I'm, I'm happy about that. When I got off the video, dumb me, I took all my plants that were sitting back here because that's still my bed frame well my bed headboard and footboard i've never put it up and i took them all from here and put them on their stands out there so they can get their sun they can get their rain because they need it so i did that but also another thing i need to post and this has nothing to do with any of my community i'm not going to name her name so this has got nothing to do with nobody in our community because she's only got three subscribers. She don't have Lyme. She has nothing wrong with her. And I know. I hope you watch this. And it, it, and I'm going to say this. Because I'm going to be the better person. <laughs> and by being the better person. Is why. I gave you a reply. Being a better person. Instead of really. Giving you the reply. I wanted to give. Which was not going to be pretty. But you don't have Lyme. You have no chronic illnesses. I'm glad you watched my one video out of almost 200. But you cannot take one video out of any of us in this community and judge us by one video. You need to watch all my videos previous and all the videos to present to make any judgment on me or anyone any of my Lyme community or any com people that are fighting chronic illnesses. Where'd the sun go? I will explain to you real quick. I have not walked a mountain now going almost on six years. I do not hunt ginseng in almost six years. I can't even dig in the dirt anymore because of the mold I inhaled. So, you need to check your references and watch everybody, all the videos before you go passing judgment. Especially 
But when you have nothing wrong with you and you're sitting up there like Miss Betty Crocker, literally selling cakes and junk food online, but there is nothing wrong with you. You, you don't pass judgment on people when you've not done, watched any of their videos but one. But one. Just because you watch a good day, let's say with Mike or Jen or Teresa or Bill or Tracy or any of us, we have one good day. You don't pass judgment on us from one good day video because that don't mean that one good hour does not mean we're perfect. We could spend the rest of 12, 11 hours in hell of pain. So don't pass judgment on people when you don't have what we have and you have no clue what we're going through. And when we do have a good day, we're going to we're going to be happy about it. We're going to praise God or wh whoever you praise for having that good day. So don't pass judgment on one uh, one video when you've never watched any others. I'm just going to put that straight to you. So keep your Betty Crocker self to yourself. Keep selling your junk food that we can't eat. And you need to educate yourself. Because you're no better than the government and the CDC by passing judgment on somebody by one video. And note to self on that video, I didn't say I was walking mountains. I didn't say I was still ginseng hunting. I didn't say I was doing nothing. I was talking about my past. So rewatch that movie and then watch my videos and then have a comment to me. So thumbs down to you too, sugar. But it don't bother me. You know why? Because I'm better than you. I'm better than you. Why am I better than you? Because I don't pass judgment on nobody. Everybody fights this disease except you because you're a human and we're aliens differently we draw each other in as a community and we help each other if we've been through the situation somebody else has been in it's not just Lyme it's Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever it's different co-infections it's people that don't have Lyme but has a co-infection or chronically ill so we draw together as a community and we do not allow a thorn in our community so you can keep yourself and your opinions out. I'm, I'm just saying. But other than that, I'm enjoying. Mm -mm -mm. Lord, how I miss the taste of this. And this is my second one. Because it makes two of these, which is um, <coughs> a medium. I guess that's a 16 ounce. So it makes two 16 ounces the way I do it. So I'm going to sit here. We've got rain all day tomorrow. <laughs> I'm glad I made you laugh, Jen. I'm so sorry, sugar. You're bound up and blankets and hoodies and freezing to death i do understand that you're not you can't hold keep anything down girl i'm with you mike tacos only tacos i miss tacos i can't eat ta dude <laughs> really really like I said, I can't look at a chicken. I can't even lick a piece of fried chicken. I can't even hand this, handle the smell of fried cooked food. So, tacos. Aren't you, you so lucky? But outside the making fun of you part. I know you had an episode today. So that is the reason why you've not made your Friday post you should be posting. But hey, we're all loony bins, so you might as well post through it. But... I understand that you had an episode, and I'm hoping you're, I know you said you're almost through it, getting on the other side. I just, you know, hope you get out of that ditch soon, and I hope you start feeling a little bit better, because 
me and you had discussed the last time when was the last time you had one and it was last week you had one today and it may be you like a sleep too baby because you went to bed i mean we got off at 12 o'clock i don't know when you went to bed you were supposed to go and get you something to eat so and i know you're stressing out over a lot of stuff too like a lot of us are i'm not mentioning names stress is not good even for me stress will do what Jen, your, your brain starts inflaming and you start stuttering and get emotional. Mike, you just completely go limp because I've seen it personally. Me, I go into these optical stare off to La La Land. Let's change clothes. Let's walk. There's your funny thing, guys. <coughs> I know this is a little long. When I got home, and it's, 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 it's going to be comical and I don't really give flying flip on it either. I mean, I've only got one neighbor. Two teenagers, yeah, they have their two uncles that go back and forth and all this stuff. When I got home, I knew I needed to wash and clean. Just wash my body. <laughs> well, before I got in the shower, I took off my top, took off my bottoms, my pants and my top. Now I'm walking around in pant, um, a bra, my bra, and undies. Now I left my cell phone, I left my purse, and I left my coffee I told, showed you guys <laughs> outside on the rail and I know I did it and I don't care I don't know why I did it but I did because my husband would have had a hissy fit I just plainly walked outside in bra and panties grabbed my stuff and then for some reason I walked back out here again I don't remember what I was doing why I walked back out here I didn't get off the porch I was just walking around on the porch with just bra and underwear Pay no mind to it. That that was a good funny today. That was a very good funny. And yesterday's funny was being woke up by a, um, a, a cardinal in my house. Don't know how. I know how it got in. I went to bed the, um, the night before, whatever today is, Wednesday night. And I didn't even close the front door. Didn't close the back door. Left them wide open. Woke up Thursday morning with a cardinal on my bed. And that's what woke me up Thursday. But yeah, that was my funny today. Walking outside twice that I know of. On my porch, just strolling around in bra and panties. That was my good comical. But for all you people that's dealing with the cold weather and all that snow, I got buttercups everywhere. I got all my plants blooming and so there there there's a so sorry. But I'm so glad they're blooming. Other than that, guys, I think I'll wrap this up unless I go loony and <laughs> post again. God bless to you all. Hopefully you found your shimmy, your shake, your sprinkle, your sparkle. Found your silver lining because if you don't, nobody else will. God bless. Oh, my, my, my silver lining, guys. Forgot. I always tell you what mine is. My Google Glob. That is my silver lining. Be good, guys. God bless.